Mid South 2022. Let's get it. Ten, nine, eight. And we're off. Just like that, we are off on my first 100 mile race and gravel race period. We're at the Mid-South in Stillwater, Oklahoma, and there's just under a thousand riders here signed up for the 100 mile race. We got some cold temperatures this morning, but it's supposed to heat up to about 50 something degrees this afternoon. So dressing for this, was really difficult um, some riders you see this guy here he has shorts on uh, but most people wore pants but I knew it was gonna be warm in the, in the afternoon so I didn't want to be hot in the afternoon but obviously I wanted to stay warm in the morning so what I ended up doing was wearing pants over my shorts which I had never done before so I was just hoping that it wasn't going to rub my legs or chafe or anything like that because I never tried this out so I was doing a little bit of experimenting during the race and if you can avoid that you definitely want to avoid doing something for the first time during a race I always try to get all my practicing in with nutrition what I'm gonna wear um, my gear everything before the race and know it's gonna work but Conditions like this you can't plan for everything so we're off here and we've got about three miles of road before we hit the gravel and you can already tell some people are gunning to the front some people are dropping back a little bit um, and when I was starting there's probably I don't know half the field up in front of me and half the field behind me so we're somewhere around mid pack right now. After about three miles of pavement, we are hitting the gravel for the first time. And this loop is pretty much gravel from here until the finish. So as soon as we get on this gravel, I noticed right there at the beginning, there's a lot of washboard stuff. And I'm like, oh boy, don't tell me it's going to be washboard. And we got some loose gravel and rough stuff. So right off the bat, I was like, man. This is some rough roads, but I knew we were at the beginning still and just to settle in here. With that being said though, we're at the beginning and people are passing me and I'm like, man, this is a race. I've, I've got to go. Like these people are past me and I don't want to be passed. So I'm trying to keep up with the people that pass me and I don't show it too much on here, but going up the hills and stuff, there's some people that uh, just like to sprint up the hills and I should have known better I've rode 100 miles once before and I've been on some other long rides um, but the first 50 miles is not the beginning of the race it's the last 50 and so I need to remember that all right 23.5 miles in we're feeling all right that first 10 miles was a push. Everybody just freaking jumped out there. So right now, kind of riding by yourself. We got some people up here and then a group up ahead. So 
just trying to uh, stay consistent. I think I may have pushed a little too hard there at the beginning. And uh, so just kind of trying to recover from that. But we're enjoying some beautiful Oklahoma dirt roads. One thing I learned during this race was teamwork. And right here you can see this tandem bike passing me and me hopping in behind them. So the teamwork aspect of racing bicycles is huge with the drafting and pulling each other. It helps save so much, especially when there was a headwind <laughs> like there was today. And then also your pit crew when you stop and you need food, drinks, everything when they're there to help you change stuff out and get back to the race quicker and no stress it makes a world of difference having a good team behind you and as we get here onto some muddy nasty road there's some people up here to the side that say you know up here is way better so once again teamwork they're letting me know up here it's not muddy and I'm not gonna ruin my shoes get my feet wet honestly we're just trying to make it through this section parts of it we got off and walked and then parts of it we were able to actually bike but it just wasn't worth trying to bike the whole thing maybe fall over get muddy or you know ruin your bike back to the teamwork in the first 50 miles at least you're just kind of helping each other out making it through it we're all in it for the long haul so you might as well help your friends out and these people I have no clue who they are I'll probably never see them again but it's really cool to see how these people get together and just kind of help each other out and then more towards the end of the race you may find some people that you've kind of been with for most of the day and really put together some efforts and start riding with them and kind of trading off positions more organized because your group may be smaller and so you really just build and you never know who may help you at the end of the race so it's always good not to make enemies at the beginning and I think the same thing goes for life and business school whatever it is if you can help out somebody you might as well do it for one because it's just awesome to help people and for two you never know what that person may do for you in the future. We have now made it to about mile 45 and we're gonna be waiting on a train here. So we just got done with our first rest stop and I wasn't able to get any footage from that just because I was kind of in and out in a hurry, swapping out some stuff and getting some more food. I had some um, bread with a banana and a little bit of peanut butter and honey and then filled up my water bottles swapped them out and i was back on to the race we are now at about mile 55 and the pain is starting to set in right about now a little over halfway you start to really think about what you're going to be doing and how long and how hard this last half is going to be and for me I don't know what it was but the stomach pain started to set in I hydrated really well during the first half but the drinks that I was drinking once again beginner mistake and I wasn't drinking hydration fuel that I was used to so a little over halfway we're already starting to have some serious stomach issues and this is where it really starts to set in we're only halfway done yeah. and we still have halfway to go the train has only gotten harder so we've got a long way to go and a long day ahead of us but I know there's no quitting like 
my stomach is is on the verge of throwing up. So at this point, I just decided, you know what, don't drink or eat anything for a while. Let it settle down. Let whatever's going on, let it just kind of work itself out. So right now, we're not really eating or drinking or focusing on that, which causes more issues because now we're not getting hydration or calories, which we're both just going through really rapidly during this race so in the end we're going to be causing more issues and i know this but i know if i eat or drink anything else i'm going to risk throwing up immediately after i do it so right now it's just a matter of don't throw up and keep going yeah. 80 miles I have no clue. Hopefully soon. Seems like should be. I'm ready for a tailwind. This headwind's been gnarly. Oh. At this point, I know we're gonna finish, and we have got this. But I am in oh, some pain. Damn. At that rest stop, we were able to grab some rice cakes, which were bland and perfect for my upset stomach. So I was able to get those down, no issues and we are back on the road. No. <sighs> 10 miles left. I can't eat or drink anything. My stomach hurts so bad. I feel like I'm about to throw up. Ugh. We're almost there though. We are almost there. We made it to 100 miles right now. Um, course is 102 miles so we have two miles left and I'm happy now we've been through it all today my stomach still hurts but you know what we're almost done with this thing so happy it's been a good day though After all the pain, the trouble, the cramps, the endless headwind, it was all worth it to see that finish line and know that we had accomplished something we put our mind to and endured through all the obstacles. And this race was more than just a physical challenge for me, it grew me mentally. There will be cramps, there will be pain in life, but keeping on the straight path and not giving up will be all worth it in the end when you see that finish line and make it to your destination. For me, that path is staying grounded to God's word and following wherever he leads. Thank you guys for watching this video and it was an awesome 100 miles. Can't wait to do another one. In the meantime, be sure to subscribe, like the video, and we'll see you guys in the next video.